taking a risk here. I take a lot of risk. I take stupid risk. I really don't see things as a game though. Life is a risk. You're born into this world. There's a, there's a lot of 50-50 chance if you're gonna live or not. Because my life is a chance. It's a chance I'm willing to take. Some people, they do those auto insurance commercials. And it's like, is this the insurance I want? Is that the insurance I want? I'm not going to take that ride because it's not the insurance that I want. And that, and it's just like, that's so stupid. I'm like, at least a person's insured. Do you know how many people aren't insured? I'm like, God. And I'm like, oh, just because I'm talking and just because I'm doing things automatically, I'm seen as some sort of super, super ego freak or something like that. And automatically someone wants to diagnose me with some sort of, like, Batman hero complex. Just because I'm like, I think I'll be my own hero. I'm like, really? Have, do you have no idea about the type of things I go through? Just because I'm like, oh, okay, I don't wear short shorts all the time, quote unquote. But, you know, sometimes it gets really hot over here and there is like no shade or cover out here in the backyard. And I do like to meditate or lay out here because it's nice and comfortable because I'd rather lay out here and write outside because it's really quite inspiring than to be inside and do nothing at all. And just sit at my desk. Sometimes I'll sit at my desk at night. That's great. But I'll come out here and write because it's really nice. It's quite frustrating. But, you know, there's no use talking to people like that. Because it's just negative. And they're like, what is the point of seeing that? Yeah, there's negative. I mean, that's why I talk with people like you. Because you'll give me a better view of the negative parts of the reality. And, of course, there's always going to be the negative. Because, of course, I know about the negative. I'm, ment I'm mentally ill. There's negative. <sighs> Nothing's skewed here when I'm talking on my phone here and the video camera I mean everything is what you see is what you get you know you know when you look at life you know people I mean it's hard to look at life too because how good is your eyesight I mean gosh how good is your eyesight how good is everything when you look at reality I mean, that's the real question here how good is everything when you look at reality like it's only as good as what you perceive and each person's own truth is what it is that's a fact you know i'm sorry but it's true it's a fact i'm like i'm sorry everyone's gotta have an ego i'm sorry everyone's gotta talk about stuff I'm like don't talk about it i'm like unless you know things are gonna happen things are gonna happen and I'm like, you know, I'm sorry, but all that bad stuff that had to happen to me did happen to me. And people can, like, spin a tail, a spider web, you know, and lay XX everywhere. And spiders will just come out everywhere, you know. But it's still going to be what it is. Because only experience can equate to wisdom. But I'm not saying I got it. I'm just saying what this tea tag is saying, right here. Uh, let's see. Experience will give you wisdom. <laughs> tea tags of <are> wisdom. <laughs> That's what I like to call them. And what do you know? It's saying experience gives you wisdom. And here is an ant that curls on here. I'm like, hello, ant. You're not my ant. But you're sure a great aunt indeed. Do you want to come on here? Here you go. There, it's softer. What does it matter? There's so many ants everywhere. You're marking a trail with your chemical glands. And then every and then all the other ants will come. You're doing that. You're in explorer position. That's what I like to do too. I like to explore new things and think of new things. And is it so bad? No. Does that make me an egotistical maniac? No. What's it to you? 
just because I got a little bit of moxie. I call it that. Call it charisma. Call it charms. But I'm not lucky. I got them around my wrist. Maybe I got them around my head. <laughs> Maybe they're in my brain. It's certainly weird. I'm like, but I don't know. People want to make fun of me, that's fine too. People want to egg me on and say, I'm like, what? Hmm? Hmm? Only that too. Not a lot of people don't like that though. They're like, what is wrong with you? And I'll be like, plenty. Plenty with an I. P. Plenty, pl I'm like plenty, P, P, plenty with a P, capital P, and ending with an I. <laughs> Why not? I'm like, it's okay. It, it, so many things have been said and unsaid. What is said, what is not. <laughs> I'm like, what's what's wrong with wanting to think a lot of things and to take in a lot of things? I could write things and I'll say, this is from this, and this is from that, and that's from this. But don't forget that's from that. Oh, and that's from this. And like, this is the first principle according to this person. But then this is also from this philosophy. And then I'll tie it into a nice pink package. <laughs> And I'll present it and I'll say, here you go. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Why not? Because again, everything is everything. That's what it is. My nightmare last night not only was a nightmare, but I was rapping in it. And and it was weird. <laughs> Because I guess I, I haven't done slam poetry in a while. <laughs> you know, I needed to. <laughs> I was like, eh. I'm very, very cautious where I do my slam poetry. And I thought I recorded it this one time and I was going to share it with everyone here, you know? But then I didn't because somehow, because my, my battery on my actual camera camera that I take to the beach didn't go through. And speaking of beach, I haven't gone in a while because of this. It's still swollen, as you can see. It shouldn't be bigger than my heel. <sighs> I think I have to go through physical therapy. things are hard but I feel like to meditate this way to acknowledge things the way they should be acknowledged not in a roundabout let me avoid all the cracks I don't want to hurt my mother's back. I don't want to, like, you know, be like this or that about it. But just in a real way, you know, where it's like that, you know, where you, you can't hide facts. You can't hide the truth. It's going to bite you in the ass. And you already, you know, stated the fact where well I'm getting a lot of yellow jackets around here I don't even not even wearing a yellow jacket I'm like I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a yellow jacket I need a yellow jacket seriously
think just need to be said to you guys. Just because you only have your voice. Can't let everyone just step all over you. Because when I write about ants and gnats and yeah, a mosquito, probably most of me, me. And that is how I feel. Okay. Because I feel that way. Because I feel that way. A lot of times I have to speak up. Because it's not like I will, I will, it's not like I'll wear this stuff out. Like I'll wear this stuff here in my backyard. And that. But say if I go work out, I'll get, you know, verbally assaulted. And I'll never forget that one time. Whoa. I'll never forget that one time. There was this young boy there next to me. When it was happening, and he looked up at me. I'll never forget that. Because he was like... Cause he was, he was like, he didn't say anything, but I think he was waiting for me to respond or say something, and I didn't say anything. And I wanted to be my hero at that moment. And I don't think men realize that. I think you're, you're overgeneralizing me and this whole sort of idea or concept that I just want to help and I just want to do that. Maybe, you know, you have to consider there's a lot going on with me that I wish there wasn't and I'm not trying to like, oh, go over this sort of thing. You know, I appreciate the conversation more than anything. But it also gives insight into me and how people think of me. Or at least how men think of me. As they see me as like I'm my own superhero and I need to be my own superhero and I don't need anybody. But that's not true. It is so upsetting in that Like, why can't I think the idea is that people to rise above their own challenges, you know, and especially, okay, especially being a woman who has been abused and who has been verbally assaulted on the street more than a couple of times and who has not been a cause for that just because she wants to go work out and she wears shorts 
and they're not short shorts. And I've read things like this. And a woman can be how she wants to be. And it doesn't have to require anything. And no one needs to be anything like that. But it's just like, I can be my own hero. Women come in all shapes and sizes. There's no sort of like distortion of idea or no distortion of image. Like, my body is how my body is. No, there's there's no sort of like shaming just because a woman's prou proud of her body because of anything. If someone works hard, you know, because they're athletic and they want to be strong because they want to protect themselves, then that's good. Because I work hard to be strong because I want to be able to protect myself. That's why I want to be strong, because I want to protect myself. I don't want to be physically weak when I go walk to the beach or when I'm at the beach and there are men around because I do get verbally assaulted. I'm like, it's not really exhausting. <sighs> because you're experiencing life. Because you're just being who you are, as you are, what you are, doing whatever you do. I'm like, the world is exactly so small and exactly so big. How strange is that? I'm like, it can't be everything, but it actually is everything. gonna, you know, I like talking about different views with different people, because it's inspiring all the time. It'll never get boring to me. Because it, it should be, it should be everything. It should be like everyone who feels Everyone who feels strong enough in their own views shouldn't feel threatened or anything. And yet people are developing views about the world around them. But that's what school is. But really, school is at your fingertips, isn't it? Because the school is in every book. And how much can you fill? However much you can fill your mind with. 